Hello everyone, it's Peter here. How you doing guys? Awesome. Guys, so what I want to say is that the uh, drive came for the uh, Surface and Microsoft Surface and it's time to heat it up. Don't you know heat it up? You've got to heat it up. <laughs> I've lost my uh, heat proof mat and I'm using forward and forward is not heat proof. So yay! I, th I think I'll buy just the second one to be trying bigger one, cause I'm bad with those. Yeah, let's put keyboard aside. So, as we know, on the surface we need to heat up the screen size. <coughs> I'll put hundred degrees on my hot air after removing this top and I'll be heating it up for some time I'll get my fire tools out okay it doesn't matter you can stay but we don't need more than 100 degrees and there is no cables on the edges, that's a good thing in the Microsoft Surface. I've done it uh, in the past, so that's why I know. And plus, you can, the first time I was doing it, I was watching YouTube, so. Uh, at least it's not my first time with, with the Surface. Hopefully, no other problem will be there. This is out. Now the power, okay, okay, we got 100, and I'll, I'll just start to heat up, it will take me some time, so I'll pause it for now, yes, once I'll know it will be, you know, starting to be warm, I will let you know. It will take some time. I can increase the airflow. Ah, right, now it's better. Halfway through 100 degrees Celsius, so it's about 200. 212 on Fahrenheit. And Celsius 100, so that's it. But anyways, I'll be right back, yeah? Okay, guys, so just to show you that I'm not using a lot of power, you know, like a lot of heat, I can hold my hand underneath, yeah? So that's mean the hundred degrees. You know, it's not that, not that bad. I don't know if you can. You can't see even the heat from it. So I'm going on this edge because this is the longest edge, and you know it will take some time. But I don't want to heat straight on the screen to be true. Which if you've got a heater, you heat the whole surface. But if I've got you know just hot air, I try to heat only one side, start off one side, and then keep on going from that point yes so it's taking me you know like longer yes five to ten minutes always I need to do the heat up sometimes even longer yes so that's what it is you have to be patient okay I double checked myself it's easier to start from where the camera is located yes so from the top rather than from the bottom and you see I was able to put the polarizer from the TV uh, so now it's just heating up this section and you can go slowly, you know, across, yes, heating up, cutting, heating up, cutting. It's not a, you know, it's not a thick line over there, it's just a tiny, tiny line. So if you can cut a bit, that's fine. You can insert something then, this or, you know, some thin metal, yes, as long as it's not super sharp. There are two wires from what I remember uh, going somewhere in the middle so just try to be careful to not damage the uh, those wires yes but you should be okay in general don't don't try to go too deep try to do rather flat moves than anything else and just be careful if you feel any problem you know like on the way you should be able to heat it up and go smoother later that's it so when you've got once you've got whole side done I've done up to here so um, yeah I, I can I can literally move the 
this one out from here to here yes so from here to here I've got everything done now I'm doing another corner and uh, well I'm doing corner and this side yes and then everything across till the very end see you soon so I've managed to open it at the very end I have to cut some more from two sides with these and then I meet in the middle so now I should be okay sort of there is still something holding me back oh there is here should be still a glue shouldn't be any connector here from my memory oh I could be wrong there is a connector need to be gentle then I, there is a connector and I could lose it okay so this this model is slightly different from a previous one uh, there is a tape like looking like a captain tape and the metal cover I don't know if you are able to see it exactly probably count But if I could tell you, take it here, you might be seeing that. And there is this, this connector, and plus there is one underneath. You, you can't see the other one, there's no way you can see it. But at least you can see the middle one. So, okay, I'll check how this middle one is. Apart from the captain tape, what else they've done here? Because that's not exactly the same model as I had. Okay, captain tape is going okay. That's fine. Now the metal shield should go out. If you can pry it with something. Okay, and there is this. No, and there is only this thing to okay, clap to unhook it. Is it safe? It's safe. Okay, yes. So I don't know what it is here. Okay, so this is looking only as some adhesive. This doesn't look as some sort of connector. Okay, any cracks on the screen? No cracks. So, fingers crossed, you know, it went okay. Okay, so this is a different model to what I was expecting. Unfortunately, it wasn't on the co it wasn't clear which one it is. So this this one is different. But okay. So now the question is, where is that memory? Because I was expecting. For this model, I was expecting this, and there was a like a bar which was holding it, and I ca I can't see it. So in that case, the storage has to be internal on the main board. So probably I unnecessarily o have ordered the the memory. Now here I wouldn't bet that it's a oh. 
you know what I'll try to find it and I'll try to compare with other models and then I will see it uh, I'll open it and we will see if that's worth opening even okay because that we might only be wasting the time okay guys so I'll show you what I found uh, it will be easier if I'll show you on the photo because I took the photo of it so let me show you now I can say that I'm not happy with what I see and I'll explain you why because oh that's everybody will recognize here's the battery that's a CPU and GPU probably because has a memory on the side and it's glued as well <laughs> so yeah that's extra power and here looks like a like a hard drive to me and so I don't see any other chip here on this side of the main board that's some real tech probably audio <coughs> that's sop 8 maybe some voltage regulator or something else which is okay that's a power supply for this and it's a double so that would make sense for this CPU GPU thingy and that's one power supply maybe for the RAM maybe you know I'm just guessing yes so that would be everything uh, other small models here but the other chip which is like rec recognizable as a memory chip is only this one which is soldered and if it doesn't recognize a bootable device that's mean you know uh, in that case it doesn't recognize this chip yes so yeah I will speak to the customer if customer want to do anything about it but that for the repair attempt fee has to be more than you know what I'm charging because it's you know it's a lot of work yes and uh, if things will go wrong I don't I don't want to end up being a culprit later oh you you didn't fix it yes so you know I can still open the board take it and see under the underneath and just to see and then compare as well with uh, with the models out there because on the, as per specification on the enclosure of this it was that I should have this uh, M2 yes or NVMe drive whereas I bought it and it turns out that it's not the case so yes I'm not happy because I thought I know what I'm doing and now I I've opened all the uh, shields for you so that you can see everything as well because I was trying to locate the hard drive and I I haven't succeeded yes so well I haven't succeeded in the way that I I don't have the one which I thought I will have so that's it guys I don't know what customer will say if customer want to want to do anything I need to then read if those um, SSDs yes because probably that's taken as an SSD uh, are they swappable did anybody did attempt on it and if nobody did an attempt on it um, does customer want to risk it and do it yes I could try um, reflow reball but that's all time-consuming yes so you know it's it's a gamble it is a gamble and I don't want to I don't want to be a culprit I, at the end yes so I can just tell to the customer that unfortunately I'll send the picture as well that unfortunately the model which is on the enclosure doesn't match to what I see inside and I've ordered the hard drive which I see yes here and I've showed I'll show the picture as well of it it came but it's nowhere on the board yes so I can't fit it and there is a place where it looks like a card yes like a memory card and that chip we can either risk and do something about it or we have to call it a day and it's a no fix if anybody has a better idea comment down below but that's all I can offer to this customer unfortunately you know in this case I can't think of anything better I can remove the board and see what's underneath true that's that's what I can think of uh, but apart from that I don't know thank you guys for watching see you in the next video hopefully you've got a 
listen or at least enjoy watching it and see you in the next one if possible let's fix them all take care bye bye